right guys, so here we have our crackers. Now, I do see that we could have made them thinner, just so you see. My recipes, you know, it does take a lot of work. So, forgive me, but doing this recipe again, I would probably split the dough in half and thin it out. That way I think it would be a lot easier because you could get it a lot thinner. But they are crunchy. You heard that? And this is the inside. Come on, focus. There. See that? That's the inside. What it tastes like, it tastes like a multi-grain cracker or a wheat cracker. That's what it tastes like. So this will be perfect. Um, if you want to leave out the flax seed, feel free. You can just do it strictly with um, almond flour. Um, I have not tried it with coconut flour, but um, we made a lot of them. Now, <clears throat> yes, my sizes vary. So see how big this one is versus <laughs> like these were the end pieces. See that? So that piece versus that piece. See that? What else? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm always burping or hiccuping or something on camera. Anyways, if you make them smaller, it would work as well or bigger for dipping. That would be perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a comment below when you try this recipe. Let me know if you have any further questions. And until next time, this is how I keto. Hi guys, welcome back to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. I am your host, Sonia Lee, and today we are going to be making crackers. Yum. Now remember, if you don't like anything that I'm using, try to play around with it and make it your own creation, right? So in here, I'm using almond flour. Before we get started, forgot to mention, for the written recipe, visit www.ketowithlee.us. But anyways, back to the crackers, I digress. So in here, let me get the measurements for you. We have one and a half cups of almond flour. Now, I gotta say, before I continue, I am so sorry to interrupt this, but I have to tell you, this is for a four ingredient recipe and I'm super excited about that. Why? Because easy is for me. You know when I'm in a hurry like this morning I wanted to have some crackers with some fried eggs and salami I couldn't do that because I didn't have any made so I'm gonna go ahead and make this always know that you can f make this ahead make the dough ahead and freeze it you know like bake half of them and and freeze it the nutritional facts that you're gonna find on the website um, the counter didn't let me go up to 120 crackers um, of course it depends on the size that you cut these into but you should be able to make them like you know the cheese it sizes like one inch squares you know like that let's see a square can I make a square sort of like that but um I'm gonna cut them to the best of my ability so again the nutritional facts are gonna be for 72 crackers because that's the most that it'll allow me to get nutritional facts for but just know that these are going to be amazing. Super low carb. The 72, if you make 72 of them, um, you per cracker, it'll be 0.2 uh, total carbs, but also 0.2 in dietary fiber. So practically zero carbs. Anyways, I digress. One and a half cups of almond flour. This here is ground flaxseed. You can also use oat fiber if you'd like. I haven't tried it with that, but this is um, ground flaxseed. And in here I have a quarter cup. To that, I will add my 
quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Um, pink Himalayan salt has a lot of um, benefits to it, which is why I started using it. One of the benefits is that it prevents muscle cramping. So that's something cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir my dry ingredients. I like to get the lumps out this way. It's just a lot easier for me. You can use a sifter if you'd like. And guys, I have a lot of wonderful recipes coming out. Um, just be patient with me. You know, I am a mother of three. I am married. I run my household, a YouTube channel, you know, the creating, uh, merchandise it's I'm doing it all by myself so it's been really really honestly it's been hectic overwhelming at times and it's just a lot to manage all right I'm gonna put that aside while I scramble my egg so it's just one egg we're gonna add this to the almond flour mixture in a moment Always making a mess. Okay. Allow me to get my spatula. Alright, guys. So now that we scrambled our egg, I'm going to add it to our flour mixture. How simple was that, guys? Super duper simple. Now while I'm stirring this, I do want to tell you that if you want to add something, feel free to do it. Um, a couple some things to add. <laughs> Ideas. Um, I'm going to have to get my hands into this in a moment. As you know how I do. I just feel like it's better with, with um, you know, with the glove. Um... <clears throat> My oven screamed at me, so finally my oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So a couple of things to add to this mixture. You can um, add, what was it? Um, different things. You could do garlic powder. You can do onion powder. You can add... Like once you do the mixture, you can add sesame seeds to the top, you know, when you got them on your, your baking sheet. Just sprinkle some on there. You can add more salt to it. You could just sprinkle the garlic salt on top. Um, sesame seeds, I think I said already. All right. See, it's better when you do it with your hands because you can squeeze all that good stuff together. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. It's the glove sticking to it. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, so funny. Come on. Okay. So now we're going to take our lined baking sheet and let me adjust the camera real quick I don't have a cameraman guys <laughs> so I'm doing it all myself all right so I'm gonna put that there okay so I want to let you know what this is this paper right here is not waxed paper okay it is parchment paper it does not burn I use this in my air fryer as well so that's a good tip um, but I love baking with this because it leaves everything so clean you can also use those baking mats that everyone tends to use as well so I'm just gonna take another sheet and I'm gonna put it right on top to help flatten this out so now I don't need my glove and I'm just gonna flatten it out as much as possible. A rolling pin would be perfect here. You 
don't want that. See that right there? No, no. Completely pliable, guys. So you can definitely play with this. thinking I should have just um, cut it maybe into quarters and um, done it that way what I don't want is it to be so super thin right there at the edge that you know I won't be a cracker cracker so that up. this edge over here What you want to do I'm just feeling around for like the really thick parts of it because you want it as thin as you can get it without it being you know almost transparent Mason jar magic. <laughs> so funny. They have so many uses, people. Alright, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna grab our pizza cutter. So basically all I'm trying to do here is go ahead and cut them into squares. Maybe I'll just slide that out so I can use the cutting board here. Much easier. Okay. So I'm going to cut them into at least one inch. So of course the amount that you get is going to depend on how big you make these. So I just want little snack sizes. They're not perfect, guys. Get that in there. Okay, well, those were off. Okay, so. I will let you know how many come out of this, this size. So if you look at it, it's a decent size. So I guess I could have flattened it more. See how thick it is right there? So it could actually crunch, but now I'm gonna slide it right back on. And we're going off to the oven, guys. Let me see if you can see that. Look at that. Little crackers. But before I do that, I want to know the 
comments below. Have you been liking my recipes? Have you been sharing them? How are you supporting the Keto with Leech channel? All right, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when we come out of the oven. All right, guys. This is what it looks like right out of the oven. It does bubble up a little bit, but look. It's a cracker. Cracker, cracker, cracker. So I am going to get some fabulous pictures of these guys. And... Hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share this recipe or any other recipes that you've tried and you love with five people you know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This is how I keto.